In case you missed my last video, I had reacted to my feature on Market Watch, um, so go check that out if you haven't yet. And in that video, I announced that I finally completed my master's degree, so I'm done. I am done with school um, for now. Actually, forever. Like, I'm, I'm actually so done with school. Um, but I am not opposed to, you know, taking little classes, courses, um, and just learning you know, for the rest of my life, but I do not think, in my heart at least, that I will be returning to school again. I am so over homework, um, and you know, that's kind of the reason why I also just stopped posting videos because I was just tired, I just needed a little break, I didn't want to like do homework, do work, um, try to work out and then have to like film YouTube videos and edit them for a few hours So I was like tired of staring at a computer screen to be honest um, It's a lot of staring at a computer screen if you're doing all of those things since I have not posted In a bit at least I haven't posted my regular like spending net worth budgeting videos in a bit I am just gonna you know go over the last three months of spending in this video, let's get started. So in case you don't know, I use YNAB as my preferred budgeting method. It's a web app um, that you can look at on your desktop and there's also a mobile app on your phone. I do have a referral link in my description if you're interested. Um, if you decide to join after your free trial, I will get a free month of YNAB. And I know one of you guys actually did do that, so thank you so much to the person who subscribed. If you're interested, I highly recommend YNAB and Right now, I'm just going to go through the spending um, feature of the web app. In total, I have spent $11,890.68 um, in the past three months. This includes other things like giving, which are things that I do plan, to, that I do want to spend my money on. So let's go through everything. The biggest category is giving. So I spent $2,906.96 on giving in the past three months. If I do a little drill down of that you'll see that $2,200 of that was just sent to my mom. Well, it was actually sent directly to the mortgage servicer of my parents. So I have been able to send over $2,200 towards the mortgage in the past three months, which is really good. I've been trying to pay half of my parents' mortgage every month. It actually did go down like two months ago, so I adjusted it. <laughs> so I have a little bit more money for myself, but... It's, it's not a big difference, honestly. Um, it kind of went down, I think, because of the taxes or whatever. But I'm still paying half of the mortgage, so that's that hasn't changed. Then I spent $538 on gifts. Most of that is actually Christmas gifts just in November because of Black Friday. I just spent, did a lot of shopping there. Um, other stuff are like birthday gifts for other people throughout the from the previous three months. So it is a lot of money. I usually don't spend that much money on gifts in general, but... Now that I'm debt free, like I feel like I should give back um, because I've been very stingy the past few years. This has definitely changed and I hope to continue giving people gifts or gifting experiences if possible. 131, I think I went to like a cancer fundraiser and then the rest of that or the majority of that money I just like ended up paying for another patient at my... Now I have a pain management doctor, by the way, so that's fun. I have chronic pain. It's... It's been a wonderful time, it really has. Um, but anyway, someone got to their appointment, they couldn't pay, I felt bad. I didn't want them to have to come back. I don't think he was aware that he had to make that copay. Um, and so I just offered to pay for it. $1,796.76 on health in the last three months. I wonder what the majority of that is. Oh, the doctor, am I surprised? Absolutely not. Yeah, that's a combination of my pain management and my chiropractor. These expenses are actually going to go down now. Um, I'm going to the chiropractor less and less, and it's basically because all of my chiropractic visits are basically being used up in my health plan, and so they're like, oh yeah, you don't have to come in that often, of course, because they're not going to get paid by insurance. But at the same time, I've been feeling a lot better. Um, pain management hasn't fixed my problem with my neck. Um, it hasn't helped it yet, but I have hope that the next procedure they try doing will hopefully target the exact area where I have pain in my neck. Um, I'm like 80% sure it's a nerve, like, being pinched, and that's why it, like, can flare up so easily, and 
sometimes I can't turn my head if I aggravate it too much. So we'll see what happens. The next big expense is wellness equipment. Most of that is just getting um, ergonomic stuff, like a keyboard, mouse, whatever. Um, I kind of went over that in my last um, budget update. TGV, so I got a membership at the Gravity Vault because I started rock climbing again. In the past three months, I was charged $170. That's for two months of membership. They're going to charge me for the third month this month. And it's been so much fun. I used to climb a little bit in college. I was climbing like V3 level bouldering routes, which is what I prefer to do. And now that I've been climbing for over two months, I guess. I am finally getting V4s and I think I need to start trying V5s at this point. So it's been a lot, a lot of fun. $51 for self-care. So that's a massage, dentist, um, classes. Oh, that was like a different rock gym that I tried. Um, and then $13 on medicine. Next thing is transportation. I spent $1,579. Some of that is gas and tolls, but most of it was my oil change. Fun funds. Do I really, do I really need to explain this, you guys? Um, last month, November, is when the Eras tour tickets went on sale, and that's, that's all you need to know. I have no excuses for this, um, and I do not apologize. The rest are little trips and random Amazon purchases that I paid for. Travel. Um, all of this is just a hotel booking that I made for a future trip. Um, I have not gone on the trip yet, but that is what I spent on. Services. So, I don't really know if I like the name of that category, but I moved around my subscription category and just made it so that it was focused on yearly subscriptions now because I had to switch from Visible to Mint Mobile um, phone service because Visible has terrible customer service and you know what? I said it. I said what I said. So now I'm using Mint Mobile and I'm just going to pay yearly for the subscription the next time it has to renew. Besides that, I did spend some money on a new phone. So where is it? Yeah, I just got a new phone because my other phone's battery was horrible. Absolutely terrible. It would just heat up and you know what? Heating up lithium ion batteries scares me a little bit. Wardrobe. Um, I've been spending a lot of money on clothes, particularly workout clothes, so are we surprised? Not really. I bought these pants. Shoes and accessories. I did spend some money. Oh, okay, okay. What is this? Okay, I bought new climbing shoes, so there's that. Um, and then I bought these two boots that I ended up returning because I was like, I can't spend all this money, so I returned them and I got the refund. Um, I spent money on a new bag and also I got some new sunglasses that I've been wanting for a while. So I did not return those because I love them. Um, so yeah, I splurged a little bit on myself. As you can see by the dates, most of these were purchased around Black Friday. So yeah, this is all very recent. The rest are clothes, which are basically workout clothes. And I did buy a dress from Zara, which I love and I hope to wear it on the era's tour and then the rest was makeup but i still can't find foundation that matches my skin tone so i will probably be spending on makeup this month as well refrigerator light i have been oh wow oh wow that's a lot i spent 500 dollars on restaurants that needs to stop i need to calm down there clearly because i've been going out to eat way too much or at least going out to well i don't think i've been going to expensive restaurants it's usually with friends, which so I enjoy my time, but I don't know if it's worth $500. That's a lot of money. $88 on groceries. I just had to buy some stuff for other people um, and just, you know, pick up some random things that I needed. $230 on Percy. Not surprising. $127 on education. Most of that are books that I actually just bought in the past week from Barnes & Noble just because I wanted to read them because I think... I can learn a lot from books, so that's why I have it in education, but besides that, I had to pay to get my diploma delivered. It was delivered, so that was like a very minor expense. The rest is honestly just books that I've been wanting to read, and now that I have some time, I'm gonna read them. And then I spent $105 on all other categories. That includes Netflix and YouTube Premium and other like miscellaneous categories. I know we ended up buying some Ed Sheeran concert tickets, so that's what's in there. So my average spending per month is almost $4,000. That's way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Now, if I look at my top categories, giving and health, giving I'm okay with because that's actually what I want to spend. So let me actually get rid of that. 
Let me take away travel as well because travel has its own saving category and I just don't want to count that. All right, without giving or travel, I spend $2,600 a month in general. So my biggest spending expense is health. Um, that should be going down to, I want to, I'm hoping for like less than $100 a month. Transportation, you know, that was just um, a maintenance expense for the most part. And now that I've actually stopped taking tolls, that should also go down. Um, and I hope to really just be paying for gas and like a few tolls if I need to drive anywhere. Fun funds should go down um, unless Taylor decides to drop another tour. The good thing is that most of these tend to be one-time expenses in the past three months, so I'm not too worried. But the thing that worries me the most is wardrobe, so I'm going to try to curb my spending there. Like not go to the malls, not go shopping or online shopping, um, at least not too often. Um, but other than that, I'm okay, so hopefully moving forward, um, this will stabilize and I will, um, be sending more money towards my actual goals. So I just want to give you guys a quick recap of where my savings balances are right now. So far, since I started paying off my parents' mortgage, I have contributed $3,709.92, um, not a lot at least compared to how much they gave me to help me pay off my loans. You know, my parents aren't in a rush to pay off their mortgage like I've mentioned before, but I would like to see the balance go down personally. So I am gonna continue doing that until hopefully the mortgage gets paid off. My emergency fund currently has $818.48. My house savings has $3,334.25 way less than what I had planned but at the same time I am also not in a rush to be a homeowner yet you know I'd like to start looking at properties probably at the end of next year but I still don't think I'm gonna have enough money to actually buy anything but we'll see travel fund I have a thousand dollars in that fund but as you saw in my spending overview I did spend a lot of money on travel to start like booking trips. I've been sending $500 every month towards that consistently and I want to keep that up. If you want to hear about my investment balances, I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait until my net worth update video, which is where I'm going to cover all of that plus all the graphs associated with it. So thank you guys so much for watching um, and welcome to anyone that's new to this channel. I will have new videos for you soon. In the meantime, you can binge some of my older content just to get a sense of, you know, what I've been doing the past few years. See you guys in the next video.